Now, this is the motor I'm attempting to build. I started working on this thing a while. I'm just doing different experiments on it. Well, now, I'm going to wind this coil called a trifilia coil. I'm going to put three coils in my circuit, in my spool. Okay? Three coils. Okay? Three coils. Now, if you remember this stuff I, I, I did the last time, there were three coils. And one of the coils I'm going to use is for a generator side. I spoke about generator effect in the run coils, induction, but now we are going to see it in action, okay? Let's going to do some physical work today. Parts. Now, I'm a bit opportunist. Opportunities when it comes to paths, finding paths. If you don't have bicycle spokes, welding rods to make a spool, you still need laminations. Come, come in. However, okay. So you can get you some, get your microwave oven transformer. This is the E part of the microwave oven transformer. This is the I side of it. You can split this iPad in what size you want and wrap your spool around this thing. Okay? Make your spool as your core as large as you want, thin like this, or you can just split in half if you want a huge core. Okay? However, in this project, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be even more opportunities. I'm going to get the spool wrap for me already, made for me already, plus a small core in it. I'm just going to cut off the wire, the original wires, and wrap my coils around this, this spool. This is from a microwave oven fan. Okay? So, I am going to wrap three coils around this thing, thin coils, because the smaller the spool, the thinner coil you should use. You have a big spool, wrap bigger coils. Okay, and I'm going to have my trigger, my run coil, and my generator coil. Ta-da! Ta-da!
how can you find your stat trigger and your stat run so you don't make these mistakes on the circuit well there's a simple trick I use as you can see I already found them so I give them a nut the stat run has a nut and the stat trigger has a nut so I just can't make a mistake when I'm wiring my circuit but imagine you don't know what you're going to do you're going to use the battery and you are going to place one of your coils on the negative for example your trigger you're going to hold your rotor just when a magnet is almost leaving your coil when it's almost leaving the coil and you're going to press and if you feel like it's pushing away at the magnet the coil, the wire that is on your positive is your stat. So you're going to give it a tie. Okay, so that's my stat trigger. I'm going to do the same thing with the run. Right? I'm going to place a wire on the negative and I'm going to hold my motor just away the magnet is leaving the coil. So I can feel if it's pushing away at the magnet. Okay? Press plus. Ooh, see? It pushed it away. This means this is my start, tr start run, so I give it a nut. So when I'm wiring my circuit on my PCB, I will not make this error. Alright? Now, now it's rare that people drive their motors in attraction mode. If you want to ride your motor in attraction mode, you place the end run on the start where the, the run is going, on the start run on your circuit board. And instead of pushing away, your motor will be pulling away at a magnet. Pulling at a magnet. Pulling a magnet. Pulling a magnet. If you go in repulsive mode, you put your start run on the start run on the circuit. Your start trigger on the start trigger of the circuit board. And your motor will run normally. Okay? That's it. Alright, from where I left off in Fury, let's do some practice. This is the run coil. Okay? So none of these coils are branched yet. I'm just going to show something called the generator effect. So this is the run coil. And I'm going to spin the rotor by hands. That's the generator effect on the run across the run coil, okay? So now that I'm messing around with a trigger and also a generator coil I'm going to test out the generator coil right now generator coil right now here it is so here it is by hands again okay I'm testing it generator coil okay no circuit is branch on the circuit so that's your generator coil and you just saw the generator effect on the run coil okay so let's proceed now as you can see I have a trifilia coil I'm trying out okay so yeah now none of these coils are connected together you have a run coil a trigger coil a generator coil so why would I get energy every time I pulse the the generator co the the run coil because of induction they are all on the same spool so I'm going to show you I'm going to pulse the run coil however the generator coil is going to release energy see that check it out every time see it it's through induction problem you may have which may make you complain I made a, a bed in the motor and it don't work it don't spin it's rubbish well I just ran this motor and it's not working it's not working why is it not running simple things as this I have my run coil correctly branch start run and run but my trigger is not branched properly the start trigger is on the wrong input 
So I'm just going to switch the end trigger position from the start and check this out. The motor is running, baby. It's running. Okay, so that's that's what you need to understand. If it's not the trigger, then it's the run you have to switch positions. Alright? Check this baby out. Now notice these nuts I have on my circuit sometimes. These nuts I tie one of the in of either the run, one side, either the start of the run and the start of the trigger. So I will fully place the nut on a cable that's not knotted. Okay? So hey, my motor is not working. Why? Why? Well, it's because the start run is not in the right position. It's the current is not flowing in it in the same direction as the trigger coil. The current is supposed to be flowing in the same direction. Or for induction will prevent your motor from functioning the right way. And here it goes. If you don't check these things out, your coils will neutralize themselves and your motor will not function. Next. So let's run this a little bit for this first part of building my little upgrade to another Bellini motor. How much motors I can run with this system, Bellini. So I, yeah, I just rectified the generator coil just so we can put a load on it for a little while. So let's just run the motor. Yeah, let's just run the motor for a while. routine. 